Assalamu alaikum halal family. In today's video, we're going to be checking out a Israeli settler who has moved to Israel from Texas um, and their interview with the news uh, reporter. Ariel believes it will happen and hopes to be amongst the first to move to Gaza. She wants to move to she Gaza. Came to Israel seven years ago from Texas. Texas. The idea of you coming from America to here, settling in potentially in Gaza, kicking Palestinians out. A lot of people would see that as settler colonialism. It's not really um, colonialism, it's a return. Um, my grandparents were kicked out of Israel by um, Arabs who were trying to establish a Palestinian state and they, they had to leave for their survival and I'm just coming back and fulfilling their dream. Uh, that would be the first thing. The second thing is I think that <laughs> and I know this is a minority view. I think colonialism gets a bad rap. Like genocide is bad, but colonizing places that are genocidal and they have bad ideology, it's good to come in and correct their views. What do you think should happen to the people who are already in Gaza? So I think that there's a couple of possibilities. Um, the one that I think is the most realistic is we got to help ask other countries for help. I know that Spain was willing to take a couple Spain. of Spain. Russia said they would take a couple Russia. To a lot of people, that would sound like you're advocating for ethnic cleansing. Um, I don't think so because Palestinian isn't an ethnicity. It's an ideology. And it's an ideology that says that they want Jews dead. And so we want them as far away from Jews as possible. The would-be settlers take us to the Erez crossing. It used to be the gateway Crazy into stuff, Gaza. Man. The area has been closed off by Israeli soldiers, but the group is waved through. Mm -hmm. Close for Palestinians, but settlers can go. Two small lemon trees here, as symbols of their claims over this land. Just saplings, but the settlers have seen how, over the years, what? their efforts bear fruit. That like olives are common uh, and indigenous to that land. I don't know what is the significance of uh, growing lemon trees, but it's crazy that lady from Texas is saying that colonization is okay and that Palestinians Palestinians are not um, a race, for example, or is you know they they're not. Uh, part of a country or, or citizens of a country but rather it's an ideology that we need to uproot and then she's saying that we should send them to Spain or Russia like those are not even Muslim countries so you're basically sending them out as like migrants to another country which is crazy so I just saw today like a, a post on on um, Twitter and they were saying basically for Israel's collapse you just let Israelis speak and uh, that seems to be true because the more they talk um, the worse it gets because of their ideologies and, and the stuff that they say I would love to hear you guys start what do you think of this lady from uh, Texas, do you agree with her that Palestinians should be sent to Spain and <laughs> Russia and colonization is okay? Or you have the opposing uh, view. would love to hear your comments in the comment section. And if you have any other interesting videos like this or any other one, please put in the comment section below the link. Uh, and I appreciate you guys' love and support. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and your family. Inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. And